Photographer Yevhen Nikiforov traveled around Ukraine for three years in search of mosaics from the 1950s to 1980s, the period of Soviet modernism. The results of Yevhen's search were published in a book titled Decommunized, Ukrainian Soviet Mosaics. Kramatsky spoke to photographer and his publisher, Philip Moiser, about finding the artworks, Ukrainian mosaic art, and the perception of art from the Soviet period. I began photographing monumental mosaics in Kyiv in 2013 as part of a project on 1960s Ukrainian art. I became interested in finding other monumental mosaics and created a small archive. The collection of photographs grew as I became more interested in the history of the mosaics and artists who worked on them. I tried to do high-quality documentation of these artworks so that people will pay attention and be interested in protecting them. He visited 109 towns and villages where he found more than a thousand artworks. Some of them have already disappeared from public space as a result of Ukraine's decommunization, which began in April 2015 with legislation outlawing communist and Soviet symbols. Yevhen insists that the best works in Kyiv are the six consecutive mosaics on Peremoy Avenue. There are also remarkable mosaics at Kyiv's Institute for Nuclear Research. I came to this place six times to catch the right light and to find the right roof from which to take the perfect shot. If you look at them from a distance of one meter, it's impressive. You look at these works completely differently and no longer question if this art is art. What I was very much impressed by was the mosaics in Pripyat. Because within a microrayon for residential buildings, you find some three-dimensional flex covered with all these arts in Soviet Union and how the art was integrated in the all-day architecture. And what we know from history, whenever there is a new period and the new period erases the old period, in the end you, you erase your own identity. And Soviet architecture is part even of Ukrainian identity. And this is a high value. And during the 60s and 70s, this kind of architecture, or this kind of tradition had a renaissance in the Soviet modernism period. And even today, you should not erase this history or this tradition from your own identity.